Hey, I got a really cool video to share with you about my PXG fitting experience. And I'm gonna show you something really cool at the end that PXG did that I really was not expecting at all. And it's gonna affect you if you like PXG. So stay to the end, let's get going. Hey, super excited. Today is the day I've been waiting for for quite a while. PXG, Parsons Extreme Golf. I am at the PXG store in Detroit, Michigan. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been watching this company from afar for quite a while. Their products seem to change quite a bit. They've improved. I've heard so many good things about what's going on. The Black Ops drivers just came out. We're gonna hit those today. We're gonna go through the full fitting, and I've honestly never hit a PXG club in my life. And I'm really excited. We're gonna do the full bag fitting, irons, woods, probably not the putter, but um, we're gonna do irons, woods, and hybrids, and wedges. The whole thing, I'm in the market. I'm ready for a change. Let's see what happens. I got a lot of swing changes going on. And I got a question. I was thinking about this. So what company do you know? PXG is not the biggest company by far. We know it's Titleist, it's Ping, it's it's Cobra, uh, Callaway, Cleveland Golf, like all, all those biggies. Do you know of any of them, any of the big boys have any standalone stores? No, the answer is no. They're all in Golf Galaxy and Dick's Sporting Goods and, and uh, PGA Tour Superstores, and they're all together. PXG has their own standalone stores. That is so cool. They have tons of them across the country. They're building more and more, and it's pretty amazing. They have their own standalone stores. Think about that for a second. That is a commitment to this game with Mr. Parsons uh, and his vision of what this company is gonna do. So it's super exciting. I think it's so unique, and this company is really, really cool. I'm absolutely intrigued, and we're gonna spend a few hours here, we're gonna bring it to you top to bottom. I'm gonna let that video camera roll. Let's see what, I don't have any idea what this fitting is gonna look like. I've been a tailor-made, been playing tailor-made clubs for probably 17, 18 years straight through my, my bag. I've never veered off of that for 17, 18 years. And I'm very interested to see what happens during this fitting. And without further ado, let's get in the store. Let's see what they got in there. And this is super exciting. All right. Here's, the day is here, PXG full fitting. I'm with my man, AJ, who is the fitting team leader with PXG. We are at PXG Detroit. Gonna go through the full bag fitting with AJ on the TrackMan system, and it's gonna be super cool. Let's find out a little bit more about how PXG works. And we know the story from the website, but let's get AJ's take on how these stores are working. AJ, what's it like working at a PXG standalone store? So it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've been in the golf business for a long time, so um, I used to do fittings all the time on the driving range at country club. So it's really nice to come to a store like this where it's, everything's all very organized. We got our fitting wall here. Um, and PXG is just great to work for. Bob Parsons is a, is a very awesome person. Um, great stories and uh, treats his employees well. Awesome. So. You know, we, you know, I used to do fittings back in the day. We know how fittings have come, have the, the technology has just skyrocketed how we fit people and, and the technology that we can use is just, you know, dials it in so, so nice. What, what do you see as the big difference now versus say five or 10 years ago? And is it the, the just the TrackMan technology? Is it the shafts, is it the heads? What do, you, what do you see as the biggest difference maker when somebody goes through a fitting? Well, I mean, so TrackMan has obviously greatly improved to be able to use TrackMan all the time. Um, you don't have to use live boards anymore and some of that stuff. Right. But as far as golf clubs go, I mean, PXG golf clubs are amazing, right? So the, the, the mantra is nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Um, it's true. Like, we got some really good golf clubs here. Um, you'll see in the performance, um, we, you know, we did a lot of testing um, against other, other uh, companies and, you know, we usually perform very, very well. Um, we did a cool driver challenge um, last month or yeah. uh, last year. Saw that. And um, I think over 5,000 fittings or something, we beat 92% uh, of them with our Gen 6 driver. So, and that's just the beginning because we got black ops for you to try. Yeah. So, so think about that. If you're in the market for a driver, they beat 92. So anybody that walked into a store for a fitting, 92% of the time, their driver beat the, the person's old driver in distance and accuracy. That's a crazy, crazy number. We started with irons. And I told AJ that I was looking for probably, you know, five to 10 more yards per iron in increased distance. And we talked about the difference between how we're gonna get there between loft or head or shaft combinations, a lighter weight shaft. And I thought it was gonna go with the 0317T head, 
but he encouraged me to consider the Gen 6 P iron, which is going to hit it higher and further than the 0317T. And after looking at it from a player's perspective, I was open to it. And what I found was pretty surprising. So we started with the O317T head, because that's the one I thought I wanted. And we started with some different steel shafts. I tried your dynamic golds and a couple different shaft flexes and the PXG Elevate shaft. And I really just wasn't having a whole lot of success. Not that it was bad, but I just didn't see the distance gains that we were really kind of looking for in me making a potential change in my irons across the board. So I had an idea of something that we should try. And here's what happened next. I was very surprised. Should we, should we try something in a graphite? So AJ made a suggestion that I should try a shaft called steel fiber. I'd never played a graphite shaft in my irons before. So steel fiber is kind of a combination of steel and graphite. It feels like a steel shaft, but has the benefits and weight of a graphite shaft. He thought this would really help the distance issue we were after. Ooh, that felt good. Yep, that's good. This feels the best of uh, all of them so far. Your ball speed's consistently pretty high. All going right. This is standard line, fly angle? Yep. So when you're doing the when you're doing the weight in the back of the head, how are you deciding what to put in there? So I swing weight yours before you were right when you got in. Your swing weight at D6.5. So the ball speed jump, one step, one step, 69 carry, 173 total. Spin number similar. Does that shaft feel good to you? Yeah, it does. You swung it at 86 there, that was fast. Might have been my best one, I think. Hey, make sure if you are liking this video, make sure to hit the like button, throw a comment down in that comment section on what you think or any questions that you have and subscribe to the channel so that I can bring you more awesome, awesome golf videos to help your golf game. So we have two grinds for our Sugar Daddy 2 wedge. We have the BP grind, which stands for Bob Parsons grind, 13 degrees, um, a little bit higher um, bounce option, usually for you know less skilled players or players that come in very steep um, that want a little extra bounce. And then we have the C grind, which as you can see has a little bit more of a moon shape on it or a C, um, and it's 10 degrees of bounce. So those are only two grind options that we have. Um, I would say based on your angle of attack that I've seen throughout your irons, that I would stick within uh, the C grind for you. Yeah, that does feel nice and soft, even with the steel shaft in it. Yeah, yeah that feels good. So this is the Black Ops? Black Ops. All right. So the Black Ops drivers have a couple of different models, some of which were not there for me to try, but it's, he was trying to explain to me the difference in some of the weighting and what they're going to look like. So I was just trying the original stock Black Ops driver, which is freaking awesome. Spin. Got it. I'm exhausted. Yeah. All right, whew, man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Just hit a lot of golf balls with a semi-bad back, but I tell you what, this PXG stuff is pretty amazing. Their technology is second to none. Boy, if you can't get fit on a TrackMan system, you're really uh, at a disservice to yourself. The numbers are great, figuring out the shafts and the heads and the combo. I, 
I, I came into the fitting today with thinking I was gonna go with the T head and I'm not, I'm going with the Gen 6. Like that was, it was looked better to me. They feel good, a steel fiber shaft, which I've never hit before was like butter, you know, just an impressive company. I can't, again, I can't get over these standalone stores are so cool. Like nobody else does it. So you won't find this with Callaway, with Titleist, with Ping, with, with anybody else. So hats off to PXG and um, the fitting team here with AJ and he did a great job. I tell you what I, the Black Ops driver is long. It is long. Immediately, I picked up probably 10, 15, 20 yards. Again, I haven't swung a lot lately, but right off the bat, that driver is definitely longer than my, uh, my TaylorMade. So I strongly recommend this company and uh, go through a fitting. It's super cool. You won't regret it. They always have deals on fittings, like 25 bucks to go get fit. Like that's their current special. Like it's, it's ridiculous. So even if you don't buy anything, you, you'll learn a lot about your swing and what works for you and, and what doesn't. Even just swinging different gram weight shafts, like that's, that's a game changer. So it'll help you a lot. Hey, so at the end of my PXG fitting experience, PXG actually put me on staff. Whoa, what does that mean? What does on staff mean? So anytime you see a tour player with a big giant bag with their name on it, that kind of thing, that means they're on staff. They're a part of that company. So I am now a part of the PXG family. I did not see that one coming at all. Typically at the level that I function at, it's for club professionals in what we call green grass, where if you're at a golf club, something like that, and I am not any longer. I am a solopreneur doing my golf thing and doing the instruction piece. And PXG found great interest in that. And I'm so happy to be a part of that PXG family. And what it means for you is that I can sell PXG products, that I am also a retailer and I can get you an extra discount on PXG products. So in the description of this video, you're going to see to where you can submit your questions or quote requests for any PXG products. And I strongly encourage you to do that before you place any orders because I have some flexibility in what I do with my PXG account. So it's very cool. I did not see this coming at all. And I had some great conversations with the company and we aligned very strategically with each other with what we do for veterans. I'm a big veteran guy. And let me show you this real quick. Boom, baby. As Mr. Parson says, boom, baby. And then we've got all my custom fit PXG clubs. Got the Gen 6P. Nice. Got my sugar daddy wedges. Ooh, beautiful. Got my Black Ops driver and there's more to come. So again, if you are interested in PXG products, please hit us up. We'll get you a quote. We'll take as good a care of you as we can. Get you all the same stuff. It's gonna come straight from PXG to your address and we're gonna take good care of you. So happy to be part of that PXG family. If you have not tried their stuff, you must try their stuff because nobody makes golf clubs the way they do, period. Make sure you head over to brianzgolf.com today and check out our all new online golf academy where you can get started improving your game for an entry level promotion that you will not believe. We'll see you over at brianzgolf.com.